Well, one of our staff members was here at WVUA when the tornado came barreling through Tuscaloosa. She was huddled under this very desk that we are sitting at right now. After the tornado passed Wednesday night, Victoria Sheehan planned to return home until she saw the devastation in Alberta City. Now all that stands in place of her apartment, a pile of rubble. Sheehan shot this video when she saw the destruction. Sheehan described the hard journey she's been through these past few days and how thankful she is to be blessed with such a resilient community. The panic kind of started to set in when any outlet I tried to go to to get to my apartment was closed off. I couldn't make anything out because it was so dark, but I did see, you know, emergency lights and it, um, my heart just sank because I, you know, the back of my head is kind of telling you, like, that's, that's where, that's right where you live, you know. And uh, I passed a man and he just said, Alberta's gone. I started crying and I said, well, can you please describe what gone, <laughs> like, I'm just so in denial, you know, like, please, you know, just tell, like, how, <laughs> what does that mean? So, uh, he shined his light over his left shoulder and he said you see that pile of rubble that's um that used to be the piggly wiggly and then he turned over and on the other shoulder and said you see that um that's where your apartment used to be so him telling me that basically right over there uh, you know that's kind of your life uh, i can't let you go there but i'm you know i'm telling you that it's gone it was a funeral march um of people going in and people coming out I think it was just really hard because as far as the eye could see, it was just gone. And um, you knew right there that it's just, it was just sheer uh, astonishment that it was just that much and just that bad. So we kept walking and uh, I think just the silence of it and, and the fact that um, it was, it used to be so familiar just a day ago. Um, People around me have just been so generous, and when I say generous, I mean just not even thinking twice to give me something or to offer, you know, their basically their lives, you know, their well-being to see if I'm okay. And Tuscaloosa is amazingly resilient and amazingly connected. Um, it, it's literally just so amazing, and I just desperately want people who can't see this to understand that, that Tuscaloosa is just amazing. It's an amazing place.